Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Supo here with a anti-malware video. Everyone always asks me, how do you stay safe on the internet, Lupo? What are your best antivirus picks and what are your recommendations and safety concerns? Well, in the video right now, I'm displaying on screen right now, if you're infected, um, some things commonly are when you start your computer up, uh, your desktop will take extremely long to load. And that's on a fresh install or your passwords suddenly stop working or uh, your screen starts flashing or you generally get too many errors and uh, if you start up MS config which is a Windows utility here on screen which is what I'm showing you uh, if you have something like this in your startup tray where it says bot one or explore if you have an extra explorer in there and uh, that's on a startup that means someone's infected you with their explorer and uh, their bot and if you ever see that in your startup it's time to get proactive and get the viruses gone and uh, things like this there's other things like rogue software where Trixie is thinking that you're downloading a real antivirus but it's really just something someone made to scam money out of you and it does nothing but cause headaches and a nuisance. In this video today I'll be covering how to protect yourself, how to stay smart, and what the best antivirus options are to choose from for free and to crack. Alright, let's get right into it. First off, I'm going to go off of the paid for, which you can easily get cracked over the internet, antivirus options. First off is Bitdefender Total Security or Internet Security. Next up is Kaspersky, and after so is Avast. These are very good antivirus. The first one I'm going to evaluate for you guys today is Bitdefender, which is on screen here right now, Internet Security 2011. This is what I've always used, and the reason why I like it is upon having a strong antivirus where it controls if anything goes on inside of your system it has a really good firewall that comes with it uh... the network here is you can see here you can whether or not choose whether you want your computer to be stealth remote or a generic adapter it, whether or not you're on a vpn what kind of network you're on whether it be a trusted allow all home office or public and it does have quite a big database signatures is over seven million and uh... the next antivirus that compares to this only has a virus database of around four million so bitdefender really comes in first place for virus signatures and one of the things people do complain about bitdefender is if you're on an older pc it does tend to use up some resources it can slow you down so that's why I'm putting these into categories and the next antivirus the next antivirus is Kaspersky 2011 this is also a very good antivirus option it also itself has a very good firewall has a very strong database this is also an out of US um, developed software it's always constantly evolving and it has a very very good proactive protection system against guarding against uh, hijacked sites malicious links and along with bad executables Kaspersky would be my second choice if I didn't choose Bitdefender although it is very hard to crack and you all always have to get new serials for it it is a very good antivirus choice Next up here is a vast internet security 2011. This would be my second choice if uh, Kaspersky wasn't already there. What I like about it is it has an auto virtualized sandbox which uh, allows you to run maybe infected software or potentially harmful software in a virtualized environment avoiding your computer from being infected. Along with that it has some really good real time shields for P2P. Uh, mail shields and uh, script behavior shields along that with a pretty good firewall where you can select whether you're at home whether you're at work or in a public high risk zone example a cafe along that a very good scanner it has options for potentially unwanted programs which is PUP it has full system scanner <laughs> media scan which is very good and its virus database is pretty vast as well 
has around almost 3 million signatures, but there are signatures within signatures that may sound weird, so in total it may have a little more than 3 million. Another thing I like about the Avast is whether you visit an infected site, it will tell you in the bottom right corner, and you can rate sites whether or not they're good, what kind of sites they are, whether it poses a risk, and it has an auto search feature letting you know whether or not the Avast community has flagged this site as potentially harmful for your computer. Okay, now moving on to free antivirus protection. This is very basic protection. It doesn't have a firewall, and maybe it might have a firewall. Rarely does it. The first choice would be Malwarebytes. It has been always renowned to know that it has a great antivirus database for being free. The next would be Avira, and then after that would be a vast internet security for free. This doesn't have the firewall, but it does have quite a great database compared to the paid version. Um, I like Malwarebytes because as early detection of rogue software has a free, always constantly antivirus database that's always updating, along with Avir, does the same along with Avast. So those are my top three choices. Now, what to do if you're infected? Don't worry, it's very easy to keep your system clean, even if you are infected. What I would recommend if you really want to go the extra milestone is install Bitdefender Internet Security 2011 along with Malwarebytes. Always have Malwarebytes. Even if you have a paid software, I always have Malwarebytes installed on my system. It's a very good idea to have it installed. Not only do you have the free protection, but you have a very, very good set of protection if you have a paid software and a free software. You always have the early protection of... So if you're infected, install Malwarebytes and install Bitdefender, either that or Avast. Run a full system scan, both of them with their antivirus signatures updated. Now, there are people out there that are comfortably running a current antivirus right now, and this video is not really for you. This is for people that are looking into getting an antivirus for their computer or if they're already infected. Now, for people watching this and they already got an antivirus, um, I'm sorry this video doesn't really pertain to you, but I'm um, kind of late to say that. But if you're having trouble installing the actual antivirus, try putting it on a USB device, booting into safe mode. And to boot into safe mode, you restart your computer, hold down F8, and you'll be able to click safe mode and install it from there and then run a scan from there and you should be fine. It should detect any infections on your PC. Now, commonly asked questions. How do I know if I'm infected? Well, this is quite obvious. If you have someone on, if you've had someone on your computer and they've downloaded something and you're not sure of it and your computer passwords are suddenly incorrect, you've received emails and items go missing on your desktop or your webcam randomly turns on, that is a good chance that you're infected. And what I'm displaying on screen right here is called a rat. When people have your computer infected, they are able to see everything you're doing, all the passwords you have, turn on your webcam without your consent, take screenshots of your desktop, download files off your desktop, delete it. And when you're infected, it's a very bad thing. And when you're infected, you need to know right away that we can get the bug out of your system. Now, another way to identify if you're infected is start up Windows Task Manager. You can click Control Shift Escape on your keyboard or right click the task bar at the bottom and click Start Task Manager. An easy way to detect if you're infected is if you go through your processes and you see duplicates of something. Now, some processes may already be duplicated by your system and that is perfectly fine as you see here I have CSRSS and that's an essential system process and that's fine stuff like that is fine if it's duplicated but if you see like two or three explorers running or uh, if you have like two win logons running then that's a very serious security issue and um, if you're unsure whether or not you're infected with that win logon uh, this doesn't apply to Windows XP, this only applies to people with Windows X Vista or 7. Right click that process, click open file location, this will open this directory in which it's located in. Now if it's WinLogon or Explorer, it will be normally located in system 32 of your computer. If it's located anywhere else, then that means it's a high risk of infection, actively infected. Now I see time after time people running no antivirus on their computer and a month later they PM me saying help me I'm infected, I've been hacked, what I do and I always recommend that they install a strong antivirus that way 
when they do get re-control access on their accounts that when they make new passwords the person who has infected them cannot get their new password and uh, a little bad analogy here, um, well not analogy, a little tip of advice. Running around on the internet without any antivirus is generally a very bad idea. Um, you're eventually going to get infected at some point during somehow when you do something. Even if you do trust people's downloads, there are things called fully undetectable items, which when you run them, any antivirus will not detect it. But um, there are some out there like Bitdefender that have proactive protection that will ask for your consent on the firewall saying, do you want this to run? So that's pretty good. And like I said, guys, if you do trust downloads, there have been people on YouTube before I've seen here. Um, I'm not going to name any names, but I have seen trusted partners on YouTube distribute infected software that they've created to people or their subscribers on purpose to try infect people to their advantage and uh, that's something I really 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 don't like and that's why I'm outputting this video to help protect you guys and uh, give some advice on what the best antivirus is um, how to safeguard yourself and another tip on safeguarding if you're gonna visit a website and it looks fishy just don't go to it Never go to a site that you have to question yourself whether or not this looks safe or not. You know, that's just a general internet rule. And another thing, if you're not running any antivirus, there are websites out there that auto-infect you. And what I mean by this is if you down go to the site, it'll automatically download infected software to your computer without your consent. And there's nothing you can do unless you have a very good antivirus installed like I've said. So again, I've gone over today the top paid for and top free antiviruses that I do recommend. And if you do not have any antivirus installed on your computer, I highly recommend that you do so. So that's my little video of today, guys, on helping safeguard your computer. Hope I've helped. I'd appreciate if you give the video a like and a subscription would be highly appreciated. So until then, see you guys and have a great day like usual.